Charlie D doesn't have candles. You understand that? Should be pretty obvious, right? Charlie D doesn't have candles. So in other words, it's more of a true form of the Charlie D. Because obviously it's dealing with just two prices. And then the idea, of course, is that in the right environment with the right stories, etc., we can make sense of the trade. Obviously, the challenge is that sometimes that means that you might be getting in too aggressively into a trade that we really shouldn't possibly be involved in. And that might be a little bit, uh, therefore, a little bit early. But the idea is it is still a Charlie D. Charlie D is a price reversal, not a candle. Charlie didn't have candles on the floor of Chicago, right? So when we look at the idea of a Charlie D, well, we can recognize that we get a Charlie D candle there, don't we? The entire candle is a Charlie D. There's buy, there's buy deltas, right? You can see the buy deltas, 99 buy deltas coming in there. So there's 99 buy deltas coming in there. That is a Charlie D candle. But obviously, Charlie D doesn't deal in candles, one minute candles, or tick candles, or range candles, or anything else. What Charlie D deals in is current prices. And whilst that is absolutely a Charlie D, and yes, we can see that there's a Charlie D price here, this is also very interesting because you, you build a story outline around it because what happens at the very top edge here? Nothing at that stage, right? Nothing at that stage. We start seeing some selling coming in. But every time we test into the top edge, we can start working out whether we're starting to see prices getting jammed. Well, if I remove the blue line so that you can actually see behind the blue line, take a look at this ratio that's starting to form in here. Now, it's not the top tick price. The top tick price was almost irrelevant at just three contracts. But take a look at this ratio here. You see it? Well, that ratio there is really, really useful because obviously what it now tells me is that those buyers, when that price goes south out of that area, those buyers are now trapped. So I can watch the footprint for exactly the price where the buyers get trapped. And you could obviously argue that there was also a situation there as well where buyers get trapped at the same point. So when we start seeing it, it's no longer invisible to us. We can actually see these things happening in real time, allowing us to make a real time decision on the current price without having to necessarily wait for the candle to close. Because that's not going to be finished until the price trades here anyway, is it? That three by two isn't going to happen until that trade finishes. So maybe by the time that trade finishes there, you're now selling at this price here. Well, you're only two ticks away from that 22 lot. But at least you now see that the 22 is now fixed in position here, which is what one of these numbers is telling us, right? This is what this ratio tells us, the ratio of buyers getting trapped against the down move. It's a Charlie D in a very small world. So, for example, there's a Charlie D right there, isn't there? Of about 0 0.5, which is right. There's a Charlie D of about 0 0.5. There's not net selling deltas. Sorry, there's not net uh, buying deltas or anything like that. But that's okay. It's not about the buy side or the sell side in terms of delta. It's about those buyers, not about the net position. It's about those buyers getting trapped. That's why this is more of a truer form of the Charlie D reversal. Does that make sense to everybody or does it make sense to nobody? And this becomes a level that we mark off our screens, right? It just becomes a level. Well, once we've got that level, we can then see the Charlie D reversal candle. Then we can see this little action here, which allows you to then sell at this price here for ultimately that drop there. It's aggressive, absolutely. But it's a story that builds with tape reading skills. As you, tr as you trade out the tape reading skills here, it starts to become a little bit more 
in terms of the information that you're starting to gain from it starts to become that little bit more clear, that little bit more important. And obviously the number of opportunities that it starts to generate are quite significant. You don't always get Charlie D reversal candles, but you always get price areas where this Charlie D reversal takes place if you want it to. And this doesn't give me it, this doesn't give me a ratio at the top edge, but it don't, doesn't make any difference to me. I can take this ratio anywhere, anywhere I like. So long as I've got the right ratio, right? So long as I've got the right ratio, you can see in here, for example, there's the right ratio there, isn't it? So that's a ratio there that we could take advantage of there, potentially of 0 0.3. So if we've got a ratio of about 0 0.3 there, I can start watching that trade area for possible sell trade opportunities, right? And and when you start recognizing these things, it's it becomes part of your it becomes part of your order flow trading skills. As you'll see these ratios everywhere, not just at any one price, not just at the end of a candle. Of course, at the end of the candle, the indicator is now fixed and you can now see it. It's got a number attached to it, but you can see it during the candles as well. You can see it inside candles. You can see it at every price, how that ratio is evolving from the bids and the offers. And if it makes sense to take a bit of business, you might be able to find a way to do so. So you can see that there was a big ratio here of about 0 0.25, right? There's a ratio there of about 0 0.25. Remember this time we're dealing with the sellers coming in. So obviously a lot of sellers trapped in there and obviously we can start considering a possible, if we wanted to, a possible buy trade from that level going forward, if that's a real thing, if that's what we're trying to do. And obviously, the bigger the number, the better, because the bigger the number, the bigger the trapped sellers in play at that stage. Every candle allows us to see these stories. You know, there's a 77 by 2 here, which is a very, very big ratio in terms of a very, very small ratio. But obviously, you can see that that is a very, very interesting ratio there for possibly an additional sell opportunity. And obviously, if you wanted to be short, that would be a price you'd start watching for that same trade setup. In other words, what it opens the door to is it opens the door to literally seeing these trades on every single chart price that you're looking at. Every single chart price has these trades available. Every single candlestick will probably have one of these types of trades available for you to look at. And it becomes a nice way to enter a marketplace. We know that Charlie D is a legendary trader allowing us to think about what Charlie D is seeing. That there is a Charlie D reversal, assuming the price goes bid above it. Yeah. That's that's the transition trade that Charlie's talking about, but it's not on the way down. It's if the price goes back out of that area, it's on the way back up. And that's when we start to recognize the power of order flow because, well, we can see this literally on every single price that's printed. And if we can see it on every single price, well, it means that we literally have an opportunity to deal if we wanted to on every single candle based on that as a storyline. It's not a secret formula, guys. It's just tape reading skills. It's never, it's been the same for decades. It's not, it's not a thing in terms of like, this is some special information. It's not, it's just standard order flow stuff.